Okay, guys, so uh, in this tutorial, you will learn about a program which is uh, basically an SSH client. So if you are managing servers and if you want to uh, manage multiple connections or you want to connect to your remote servers, so usually on Windows, you have a program called Putty, right? So which is a SSH client and it's available, downloaded for free from here so you go to putty.org and then you can just simply download the connection here since i'm using mac so therefore you will miss this putty uh, terminal because it's not available for mac so what you can do usually is you have a program called terminal right so mac has an inbuilt terminal where you can simply ssh access to your server to your remote connection but the problem with the terminal is that every time you open a terminal, you need to uh, write your IP address and you have to enter and remember your username and password. So this is a little bit cumbersome if you have multiple servers. So therefore, I found a new program which is called Termius. And this program is right now my favorite SSH client because it is so flexible. It is so nice that once you have uh, installed and downloaded this program on your Mac it will be super easy for you to manage all your remote connections and SSH servers because what it offers is that it is much better than Putty normally it's also in different prices but uh, you can use also for free the basic version has everything that is there so let me open the Termius for you. So if you want to download the Termius, you go to Termius.com. After that, if you are using Mac, Windows or Linux, it is available for all the three platforms. Not only that, it's also available on mobile platforms, which is iOS and Android. So for me, uh, I'm on Mac. So I will simply click on the Mac and download the DMG. After I install this program, I will have something like Termius. So it is basically a very nice piece of software because it allows you to connect and save all the IDs and passwords at the same time and you don't have to remember any of them. So if you connect any of your server once, you don't need to connect to uh, any uh, of that server once again, right? So once you connect it, it is always connected inside that. So let's suppose I want to connect to my this of my server. So I will simply double click on the link these are all my previously added software so as you can see this is a ubuntu installation of my linux distros and this is directly connected from here okay so if i want to connect to some other server i can simply go there and connect it. and this is my another uh, server so hosts are basically the different types of servers and you can even create groups so let's suppose you have several droplets from digital ocean or you have, you have several uh, cloud machines from aws or microsoft or google cloud so you can simply uh, create new groups and you can manage all your droplets or all your servers from there so let's see how you can start using termius because it's so easy so you can go to new host where you can label this new server to remember it as a, a new name after that in the address field you will enter the ip address okay so for this demo i'm gonna use it as test one and this will be your server ip address so i'm going to add something like one of my servers group if you can use a group then you can select this if you don't want to use a group you can leave this empty after that you have to enable this ssh option make sure it's enabled then don't touch the port because usually ssh connects on port number 22 and here you will enter your username and password so username for most linux servers is always root and whatever the root password you have obtained from your uh, server you can enter here and simply save this connection okay so for demo i'm gonna save something so this is my new connection and if i double click on that it will tell me if that is connected or not 
So on the first time connection, it will give you a RSA fingerprint, which is basically an identity to match. And it will be added to your permanent whitelist inside your computer. Okay. So you can click on add and continue. And then this IP is whitelisted for your system so that the Mac can establish the connection. Since my details are wrong, therefore it is asking me password. Otherwise it will connect straightforward like that. So, uh, Whenever you want to add a new remote connection or a new remote SSH access, you can simply go to new host as I shown you. Also, if you are still using Putty, you can import your SSH configurations file or you can directly import from Putty. Okay, so whatever the connections you have saved from Putty, you can simply go uh, install the Terminus and import your configurations. Okay. So I really like this program because it is very nice. It is very fast. It is very uh, low sized. Also, it's available for Mac, Windows or any other program. So even if you want to connect your SSH servers to from your mobile or iOS or your Android, you can still do that. And you never have to, you know, remember your IP addresses or ID passwords. So once you just set up a new host, everything will be sorted right there. Okay. So I hope you like this program and start using it. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other feedback or maybe if you know uh, any other better software than Termius, which I found. So let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot.